Hey, this is Micah from This Divided World, and I'm going to kind of expand on the last video I made and um, show you some basic riffing, um, some basic metal riffing, and this is going to be a little bit more in the me metalcore style, um, kind of these chorus riffs that you hear for um, bands where they combine um, the melodies and stuff, but then also uh, it basically allows for the rhythm guitarist to be... Um, both rhythm and lead. Um, so I'll just kind of show you what that means. So, uh, for example, this is more like a, a rhythm guitar part would be like. So, and then you would think more like of a lead part. So a, ry a rhythm guitarist normally just kind of has these background chords and stuff, and the lead guitarist has the melody, kind of um, what really moves the song, I guess you could say. But in this metalcore style of riffing, you kind of put them together, and you change what the, the root note or the pedal tone, <laughs> aka the low, the low string is doing. So for example, stealing from our last video, let's just stay on 5, 7, and 8 here. The melody on this, uh, this second string. So when you keep playing that same thing over and over again, it kind of gets old. So a way to make that new and to progress this melody you, you're playing the same melody, a way to progress it is to change what the root note is. So I'm going to add 5 and 8 there. So listen to that same example with some different movement on the root note. So it allows for um, bigger ideas like I would say more epic, <laughs> if that translates, more epic um, ideas in and it kind of uh, really combines this rhythm guitar and lead guitar idea. So basically what you're doing is you're taking, you know, what kind of a bassist would do. Kind of stuff, um, or just what a rhythm guitarist would be doing in any case. So, anyways, so you can basically use this. We're gonna use the same D minor scale, which is five seven eight, five seven eight, uh, five seven, or for the purposes of just using these, basically the two low strings. We'll play it up till the 12th fret. So 5, 7, 8, 10, 12. So, for example, I'll just show you some other examples. Show you some kind of commonly used notes and stuff. Um, and you can kind of mess with it and figure it out for yourself. So, for example, let's play it on the, um, on the 8, 8, 10, and 12 for our melody. So anyways, a little bit of a different feel. Um, some really big ones, like probably the if you could only to play two rhythm notes in a metalcore song, it would definitely be open and eight. And if you could only play three, it'd be open eight and ten. So anyways, um, 
the real big ones, um, basically if I just, I'll outline a, a D minor scale for you on the low string and you can pick, pick what you want to do with it. So it's just open, two, three, five, seven, eight, ten, and twelve. Or an alternate to the ten if you're doing harmonic minor would be the eleven. So anyways, basically, let me just play you some examples of what that means. I'll just kind of do my best to work through it and show you and then you can kind of figure out how it all fits together yourself. I can explain it to you, but until you do it, uh, it's kind of pointless. So. So I got a little carried away with it, but in any case, um, so that's a basic two basic ideas. You're taking, you're basically taking the rhythm part and the the uh, melody part, and you're basically increasing the rhythm part. So you're making it instead of being just about the rhythm. <laughs> You're making it, you're adding melody into the rhythm. But then you're also keeping your melody in there. So, anyways, I hope that helps you with your metalcore riffing.